gonna be able to post a picture on Instagram ever again. I can't come back from that. It's over. The challenge is over. For this week's video, I will be exploring Photoshop. For those of you who have no idea what Photoshop is, um, well, I'm using the word Photoshop quite lightly. Um, I will not be using Photoshop, I'll be using apps to edit my pictures, but it's the same thing. Photoshop is a process of altering your pictures so that the final result looks different from the original image. It's fake. I hear the words social media is fake all the time, yet I don't think even I realise how much of the stuff online is actually fake. Because when I'm scrolling through Instagram, I don't know if this makes me really naive or dumb, but on face value, I just assume what I'm looking at is the original image, it's real. But now I'm starting to question my whole existence and thinking, is everything I've been looking at this whole time fake? And that's what inspired me to do this challenge. So the thing I wanna test in today's video is, can I get away with photoshopping my pictures on Instagram for a whole week? What are your thoughts on Photoshop? Do you care, do you not care? Have you ever used Photoshop? And if you have, how did it make you feel? What kind of impact did it have? Did you get away with it? It's all very new and fascinating to me. So all your thoughts, leave them in the comments below because I wanna know what you think about this. Personally, I have little to no experience with Photoshop. Uh, I used Facetune once and I didn't really like it. But that's also because I didn't know what I was doing. If you haven't already, follow me on my Instagram, it's click for Taz. I'll leave a link in the description box. When this video comes out, all my Photoshop pictures will be on there. So feel free to check them out and let me know if you think you would have been able to tell whether it was fake or not. First things first, I gotta take my first Instagram picture and then Photoshop it. Let's go. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on my face. As you can see, I have no makeup on today. I'm gonna to take a picture somewhere in this park, but the thing I'll be editing is my face. I'm gonna go from no makeup to a face full of makeup, post it and see if anyone can tell that I photoshopped it. Once I found my photo location, it was time to take the pictures. Wow. I am beauty and I am grace. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie, I went ham and used all the features on this editing app. I had successfully completely transformed my face. What? Fresh? Hell? I don't know why, but I'm really, really, really nervous. My heart is literally racing. I'm just gonna post it and just hope for the best. One, two, three, and it's posted! So that went well. Clearly I need to work on my Photoshop skills and I need to be a bit more subtle. I looked at that picture, I looked at it for a good while and I thought, you know what? I think it's fine. I'll get away with that. No one is going to be able to tell that I Photoshopped that. <sighs> Let's read some of the comments, shall we? Your face looks different. 126 likes, love that. Why does your face look Photoshopped? Is this for a video? Oh, I was so confused. She looks like a completely different person. Are my Photoshop skills that bad? What the fuck is up with the eyes? That's what it is, it's the eyes. It's the eyes that gave it away. You look so pale and different. Is this for a video? The face. Where did your melanin go, queen? Is everything okay? You look different. Your eyes. So I think I got away with it. I am never posting a picture on Instagram ever again. Peace out, people. Oh, ow. I'm never gonna be able to post a picture on Instagram ever again. I can't come back from that. It's over. The challenge is over. My first post. It had to happen on my first post. How am I ever gonna come back from this? Any picture I post from now on, people are just gonna be looking for Photoshop. Even if it was more subtle, they're just gonna look for it oh i just cringe every time i think about it i'm trying to rationalize it in my head and it's not working you know what it's not fine it's not fine i'm out peace out people it was nice knowing you day one into this challenge and i'm already having a breakdown it's gonna be an interesting week people it's gonna be an interesting week i thought we'd take a moment to figure out where it went wrong. So the app i used was called pitu which is catered to light-skinned asian women i'm clearly brown so it was never really gonna work. This is my masterpiece. I've literally whitewashed myself to death. The app presented me with an array of features and promised me I would look beautiful. The moment I have waited for my entire life. I am ready to change everything about myself. I'm joking. 
As a kid, I was obsessed with my face for all the wrong reasons. I hated it. I would dream about having like a smaller nose, thinner lips, getting this line in the middle of it away, dark circles, get rid of them. So then when you present it with an app, where you can do things like that, it opens a whole new world. I wanted to look like Princess Jasmine. Can you blame me? So I saw all these different options and me being me, I was just like, I'll use them all. And look beautiful, I did. If your idea of beauty is looking like an alien possessed by robots who's dead behind the eyes, nailed it. The things you could do on the app is insane. As fascinating and incredible as this technology is, it does make you think how in the wrong hands, this could affect how you view yourself. Pitu is supposed to be a fun app where you experiment with different features and honestly, I was impressed by how effectively you could change your face in great detail too. You could change your eyes, lips, nose, skin tone, and if done well, it could all go unnoticed. If you're already struggling with insecurities, you could view this app as a way of correcting how you look and it can easily affect how you view yourself. It's hard enough at comparing yourself to people online, now you're comparing yourself to a fake version of yourself that you have created without you even realizing that it's happening. I couldn't wait to change so much about myself and the scary thing is I didn't even realize I was doing it until after I posted the picture. I saw my potential and I got a bit excited. I saw the person that I wanted to be. Turns out I wanted to look like an alien with really weird eyes. If you ever wanna know what Taz as a kid wanted to look like, apparently it's this. Thank God my mum didn't let me have surgery. Having a bad response was actually a good thing. It humbled me. It made me realize that I need to switch up my tactics. I couldn't just use every feature and completely change myself. If I'm gonna try and get away with Photoshop, I needed to be more subtle. For the second picture, I chose a solid color background to pose in front of. We chose a very safe location. This is for um, cars to get in and out of the car park. So, um, oh, so you can squat. You can do the squat that I can do. What's got? This one. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, no, 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 that. Oh my god, that's a so Asian squat. Is it? It's actually gone yellow too. Ah, well, so your phone makes me look so red. Why am I so red? I think that's just a bit. That is just a bit. <laughs> Damn it! I tried to pose in a way that would make my body the main focus of the picture and also make it easy for me to edit. Yeah, sure, we got it. We nailed that. Ah. Oh, yeah, Grace, how are you doing up there? Nice. Grace is so tall, by the way. Like, I'm not that tall. tall. Only 5'10. And the uh, hair puts her in another, like, Three feet. It was so much easier editing because of the solid color background. I edited my face thinner, slimmed my waist, and removed the crease on my trousers. The changes made this time around were a lot more subtle. And because of those reasons, I had a much more positive response this time around. Almost too positive. Nice to see you embracing the real you. I'm a terrible human being. What are you doing to your pictures? I can sense something. There's always one. But I do love the fact that they're still not sure, which I personally take as a compliment because this is someone who's actively looking for something and they still can't tell what it is. So I'm gonna take that as a win. They haven't said, oh, you slimmed your waist or you made your face weird. They're just like, I sense something about this picture. The aura is giving me fake vibes. Which you are right to detect because it was fake. It's kind of impressive actually. I love that my photos now scream fake. That's exactly the kind of relationship I want to have with my followers. This video is going to cause so many trust issues now. I haven't really thought this through. Time for photo number three. Honestly, I just wanted a picture of my outfit. I felt like not enough people had seen it that day. So I was like, I'm going to post this picture on the internet. This time I focused on my face. I wanted to see if I could go from no makeup to a face full of makeup convincingly. And I'm not gonna lie here, as someone who doesn't like putting on makeup, I really like this feature. This could save me a lot of time. Looking at the after picture, my first thought is, my face looks too big in the before picture. So, that's not great. I added a simple caption and then put it out into the world. I posted it, I posted it. Time to get rid of my phone and just not read the comments. So far, no one has said anything, so. So far, we're doing okay. What did you do to the old Taz? Nothing. Nothing. I've done nothing. That's a very real picture of my face. I don't know what you're talking about. You're so beautiful. Thank you. It's fake. So, so pretty. Thanks. 
Photoshop will do that. Taz is a fashion icon. I mean, clearly. Some people think I just wear the same hoodie every single day. Others, I'm a fashion icon. It's all in an interpretation. How are you looking like a gorgeous potato? I don't remember photoshopping a potato in this. The thing is, when you know it's fake, these compliments don't mean anything. It's like empty words because you know it's not directed to you because that's not really what you look like. Next was a classic gym selfie. I look so vain here. God, I hate myself. If I wasn't doing this challenge, I would never even think to change it because I actually like the way I look, which is weird because it's a picture of me at the gym after I've been working out and I've got no makeup on. But I do have this natural glow, also known as sweat. But I take this challenge very seriously. So naturally, I decided to reconfigure my face and body. At this point, I was just editing it for the sake of editing it. Now, when I posted this picture, I wrote a very genuine caption. At this point in time, I was struggling with really bad anxiety and I didn't really know how to cope with it. So I just shared that on Instagram and I asked for some tips and help. Now in hindsight, I realized that this is a good example of a distraction technique. That wasn't the intention when I posted it, but looking at the results, it had that effect. So I guess the test here is, can what you put in your caption affect how much attention is placed on your picture. For example, if you put a very basic caption, people are more likely to focus on your picture. Whereas if your caption is something really personal and serious, that distracts people from focusing on the picture. And I think that's what happened in this case. So as you can see, my comment section was filled with comments after comments, giving me advice on how to deal with my anxiety. And then there was Millie. God dang. I am on my final post. It's been a journey. My photoshopping skills are just to be admired. Clearly, it's very evident in this video, I don't know how to photoshop. So I just had to make do with what I had, which was Facetune and Pitu. I am the average person. And the average person wouldn't really know how to do photoshop. They would use Facetune. But I thought I would try to challenge myself a little bit with the whole Photoshop thing. So I tried to use this effect called the patch effect where you can try to remove people from your photos. So that's what I did here. Mad skills, bro. I know, I know. I am the Photoshop queen, clearly. Not only have I slimmed my body to death, I've also got rid of every human in sight. The peak standard for a Photoshop picture. Maybe I'll get away with it. Only time will tell. This is the final post of Fake Taz. And so far, a lot of you guys haven't even noticed. What does I say about you, huh? After this, Fake Taz is no more. RIP for Photoshop Taz. You will be missed. Now you won't. This whole thing gave me so much anxiety. I am so glad that this challenge is over. I cannot wait to go back to average Taz. This time I asked a very simple question and all the comments were positive. The final post and there's no comments, not a single one mentioning Photoshop. I've done it. I've completed it. I have cracked the system. Or maybe at this point, people were so tired of seeing the Photoshop, they just no longer cared. No one has seemed to notice that I've literally slimmed my body in half. People seem to think I'm skinnier than I am. It's quite flattering really. But also gives me self-esteem issues. You know, after the first picture, I doubt myself. I did. I was ready to quit the video there and then. I thought, there's no comeback from this. Everyone has found out that I'm photoshopping my pictures for a video. How am I possibly going to come back from this? How am I going to redeem myself? But deep down, I always knew there was a fake part of me just screaming to come out. And came out flourishing, it did. I restructured my face. Got rid of those cheeks. Lost a bit of chin. I put makeup on my face where there was no makeup to be found. I even slimmed my body to half its size. Not really proud of all of this, by the way, but for the sake of challenge, I did what I had to do. And all of it went on notice. For the most part, I faked myself for a whole week and no one noticed. It's actually quite scary how easily it's done. Like literally anyone, any young child can download an app and change their body. And if they do it in a subtle -ish way, they can get away with it. Oh God. This video is not to be celebrated. This video is to highlight what is wrong with our society. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel right now. Because A, I'm kind of happy that I passed a challenge. But B, I'm not happy because I have a moral compass. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go and have an existential crisis. Now, I was having mixed emotions about the whole Photoshop thing. So I decided to post a picture of me with no Photoshop and see what kind of results I got there. And interestingly, it performed 50% better than any of my Photoshop pictures. My unedited picture had double the amount of likes and triple the amount of comments. It was my most popular picture this week. And this time I could actually appreciate the comments because it was a real picture of me. I knew that when they were complimenting me, it was to me. Finally, there was no guilt there. So I just felt like, oh, that's nice. People actually like me. So I guess the lesson of the video is Photoshopping is way too stressful. I'm not about it. I don't like it. Uh, this week was way more stressful than I thought it'd be. And even after all that effort, my picture did better when I didn't Photoshop myself. So what was the point? People respond better when it's real. So you do you, boo-boo. I wanna say thank you to you guys. Thank you for loving me as I am and appreciating my average looks. You guys are a big reason why I don't feel the need to Photoshop myself and why I'm so comfortable being on camera with no makeup on and just being me. And hopefully I can try and make you guys feel the same way. You know what, at the end of the day, the takeaway from this video is you just need to be yourself. So to end this video on a positive note, love and appreciate yourself, be kind to yourself and stay healthy. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to click the tab.